how are you all feeling about tomorrow? Obviously, the chance to to go to the top of the table. I know it's early in the season, but psychologically, what does that do? Um, everybody's looking forward to it tomorrow. Uh, I don't think I've thought about that too much. We're on a great run at the moment, and everybody's playing well, and we're all sticking together. And it's just about continuing that in each game, and everybody's uh, ready to go. I know what happened at Livingston a, a few weeks ago. What are you expecting tomorrow? Are you expecting a, a different approach from them? Uh, I don't think so. I think Livy will expect them to maybe sit in a wee bit. Uh, not sure, but I think they'll try and do what they've done in their home game against us, which worked well, and it's just about us trying to break that down and just perform better on the day. David, the manager was, was talking about, obviously, Tom Rogic is... is um, going to miss the next two or three games. Um, you know he's he's been playing pretty much more, all the season, but nobody's been playing more than you for Celtic this season. How are you finding that um, um, responsibility, carrying that responsibility of of playing week in week out? Yeah, I'm loving it. Uh, every game I've played, I've kind of just wanted more and more, and the managers kind of played me every game so I'm absolutely delighted with that and I just want to kind of repay him and do as much as I can for the team and help the team out and it's, that's what every player kind of wants to do, play as many games as they can each season so it's just about kind of try to get even more and play every game as I, that I can. Obviously expectations were high for, personally for you because of how, how well you did last season as well, was that it good to kind of keep that going obviously and and, and, and adapt to those expectations and, and by playing every week and, and, and performing and contributing? Yeah, I was just trying to take everything I've done for last season into this season. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I think at the start of the season, personally, struggled a wee bit, but after that, I've kind of found my feet and I've kind of performed well and I'm really enjoying it at the moment and so is everybody. We're all performing well together as a team and getting the results, which is the most important thing. David, a, a few assists for you midweek, a few from set pieces. Have you been working on your delivery? They seem to be really on point at the moment. Um, yeah, I always kind of try to work on it. Um, for corner kicks, free kicks, whatever it is. Luckily, on uh, Wednesday night, we get two goals from it. And uh, I just, we, we kind of try to get as much goals as we can for there. I feel my deliveries have been good recently. And, Wednesday night, I had a good few corners and stuff that I felt I was taking well, so it's good to kind of get the rewards off it. David, how have you found the, the workload? I mean, Ange has spoken a lot about how he wants this side to play, you know, he wants that aggression, but it's, I mean, it's foot to the throttle constantly. How has that been for you and how's your game, you think, developed since Ange has been here and he's put in his vision to, to how he wants you to play? It's been great. Uh, the games have been coming thick and fast, and as I said earlier, that's what we want to do. And kind of playing the style of football the manager wants, it's great for kind of players like me and the other attacking players on the team. So it's been it's been really good, just doing that. And obviously, game after game, there's kind of three games a week. It's there's not much else you want. In terms of when the manager came in, and you know there was that restructuring of the squad to play so many games as you have, what does that do for your confidence that, you know, and just put so much trust in you to, to really be that central focus in the midfield? Yeah, it gives me a lot of confidence going into kind of every game. I've played every game, I think, this season. Um, it shows the manager kind of trusts me, as he says, and he's kind of sticking with me. So we're kind of just looking to do the same every game and, repay him and for everything he's done and kind of playing me every game it's just uh, I'm loving it How have you, you found it under Ange? What's your relationship like? Because it does seem as if you know the group have bonded so quickly around the manager Yeah everybody loves it uh, the training's great it's kind of fast tempo and everything's worked on the way we want to play and getting into games we're starting to do that now every week we're starting to be a bit more ruthless in front of goal and getting the results and um, I'm sure everybody's enjoying it. David, you were, you were talking there about working on set pieces and deliveries. Could you just, I'm, I'm interested in just how, how long you actually spend doing that, maybe in an average week? Um, maybe after a session, I'll go aside with one of the coaches and work myself 
on putting in deliveries or maybe we'll work as a team on set pieces or whatever. It's just, I wouldn't say too long, but um, it's just about trying to get it right and sometimes it's just speaking about it and what we want to do and try to get it right. There's been a lot of talk about um, refereeing decisions and the possibility of VAR coming into Scottish football. Do you have a, an opinion on VAR, good, bad or indifferent? Uh, I'm not sure really. Uh, I think there's probably pros and cons, which the people higher up will know, know best. Um, but myself, I think it'd be good. But as I say, I've, I've not really thought about it. Um, yeah, that's my view.